Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In this lecture, I will discuss about two topics. One is Punnett Square and other is the Test Cross. Before starting Punnett Square, I will request to all of you kindly open your biology books of class 12 by NCRT at page number 73. Here you can clearly see the figure 5.4 okay and it is labeled as a Punnett square right. So students Punnett square it was developed by a British genetist known as Ragnald C. Punnett. It is the graphical representation to calculate the probability of all possible genotypes of offsprings in a genetic cross. In a simple way, it is used to assess the gametes produced by the parents and the formation of zygote or you can say offsprings. Clear? All possible gametes, they are written on two sides of the square and all the possible combinations of these gametes or you can say the offsprings, they are represented in the boxes, okay, which are present inside the big square. Clear? To make it more clear to you, I will suggest to you kindly refer the same figure, okay. Actually, this figure, it represents the experiment which is done by Mandel. What the Mandel did in his experiment, he selected two true breeds, okay? Let's take the height in concentration, okay? What are the traits for height? It is tall and dwarf plant, okay? So, what will be the true breed for tall? It will be homozygous. Homozygous means that both the alleles, they are of same type. In Mandel's experiment, the tall plant, it is represented by capital T, capital T, but the pure breed. While the dwarf plant are dwarf, pure plant, pure breed, it is represented by small t, small t. Now, what was the second step of Mandel's experiment? It was a cross between the pure tall and pure dwarf. Before crossing them, we will segregate uh, the gametes of pure tall and pure dwarf. And we will write them on the two sides of a big square, which is represented in the figure. For tall prawn, the gametes will be capital T and capital T. They are written on the one side. And for dwarf um, plant, the gametes will be small t, small t. Now students, multiply these gametes, capital T with small t, capital T with small t. Now we have again capital T, capital T with small t, capital T with small t. So we have phenotype in uh, all the four squares, capital T and small t. Okay. What was the trait of F1 plants in Mendel's experiment? It was all the plants in F1 generation, they were tall. What was the second step? Second step was selfing or self-pollination. So, before doing any cross, you have to segregate the gametes. Okay? So, we have genotype capital T and small t. What will be the gametes? It will be capital T and small t. So, write the gametes on two sides of the square. It will be capital T and small t at one side and 
कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी ओन एंड अदर साइड नाउ स्टूडेंट मल्टीप्लाय दम सो वॉट विल बी द रिजल्ट रिजल्ट विल बी कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी एंड स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी सो वॉट वॉज द रिजल्ट ऑफ एफ टू जनरेशन इट वॉज थ्री इज टू वन थ्री वॉज द टॉल प्लांट एंड वन वॉज ड्रॉफ प्लांट बट जीनो टिपिक रेशो इट इज डिफरेंट इट इज वन इज टू टू इज टू वन ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस वॉज अ पनिट स्क्वेर यूज टू अंडरस्टैंड द मोनो हाइब्रिड क्रॉस ऑफ प्योर पी प्लांट टॉल प्लांट एंड प्योर ड्रॉफ प्लांट बाय मैंडल ओके नाउ कम टू द टेस्ट क्रॉस स्टूडेंट्स अ क्वेश्चन इफ वी हैव टू टॉल प्लांट आर वी एबल टू नो डेट इज इट अ homozygous species or a heterozygous species or in other words you can say is it a true breed or it is not nowadays it is very easy to assess the uh, genetic sequence or know the uh, gender of any plant but i am talking about the 19th century because both the heterozygous as well as homozygous plants they were tall okay when mendel performed the experiment so he was curious to know about the genotype of the tall plant so that he can eliminate um, the heterozygous from a true breed okay so he developed a test known as test cross test cross was a tool to segregate pure plants and heterozygous plants now what is test cross a test cross is a cross between the f2 generation and recessive parent okay in f2 generation for a particular trait or character we have both homozygous and heterozygous uh, plants okay so to determine the genotype of particular plant we will cross these plants with the recessive plant that is the dwarf pea plant okay then easily we will able to access which is the pure breed because if the plant is pure okay take the character of fight it is if it is pure tall plant all the f1 generation will be tall okay why if the plant is heterozygous means it is a capital t and small t so only the half of plants will be tall and other half will be dwarf and we have the ratio 1 is to 1 clear so with this test we are able to know which plant was homozygous and which was heterozygous clear thank you for listening to my lecture in case you have any question you can visit to my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and uh, you can post over there and also you can listen to some previous lectures and you can download them too thank you